At the line, I am super nervous. Like, I'm thinking of everything. As soon as the gun goes off, Simone Wilson finds the zone. I'm in the race. All I'm thinking about is just running and finishing and doing the best that I can. Wilson's best in her main event, the 400 meter hurdles, was better than every Division Three athlete in the country at the 2021 Outdoor Nationals. Success is a choice. Yeah, as hard as you want to push, that's as, as good as you could be. In his three years at Concordia, Steve Bellinger has elevated the track and field program. Keep moving though, once we finish, all right, keep walking around, don't stand still. Prioritizing getting athletes a chance to compete at Division One meets and other elite events. It inspires everybody, you know, because they, they've come from smaller high schools, uh, like Minnesota um, was where Simone was from, and she didn't even qualify for her high school state meet. So and now she's going and beating girls who are on full rides places. So it, it's really exciting, and it, it kind of shows the freshmen and incoming student athletes what you could achieve with some hard work. Wilson isn't the only one thriving under the new strategy. Thrower Madeline Babinski recently broke two school records in javelin and shot put. And Wilson's longtime training partner, Kayla Armstrong, finished second in the 200 at Indoor Nationals in March and has the 15th fastest time in D3 history. Being able to compete with Olympians and D1 athletes is like, okay, we're on the level as you guys. Like, Division Three doesn't mean anything. It just means a smaller school. So, like, I felt like I can be at that level. In competing at higher levels against tougher competition, the athletes have come to appreciate something else their own teammates. Every time I see her do well, it makes me want to do well. And it's so cool to be able to train with these people and um, continue to push each other. It's just an experience just to have all these strong female athletes come out and essentially just breaking all the school records. Together, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jackie. We will find out which Cougars prove they are the best of the best in Division Three Memorial Day weekend. The D3 Outdoor Track and Field Championships taking place May 26th through the 28th in Geneva, Ohio. They have the right nickname. They do. And they really do for track and field. They, <laughs> they live up to that nickname. We'll say that. They sure do. Thank you, Marshall.